Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Google Home Mini. Now you can buy this from the Google Store, the price, 50 bucks. Now it comes in three colors. You got chalk, which is this light gray color. You got charcoal, which is a blackish. And you got coral, which is a reddish color. All right, so let's check this out, 50 bucks. Now it works with a bunch of different smart home products and a bunch of different apps. So you got Nest, Philips Hue, Wemo, Google Chromecast, Google Photos, Spotify, Netflix, and most importantly, YouTube. Now that's what separates this from the Echo Dot, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Small and mighty, and a bunch of different questions you can ask it. Now we're gonna put this to the test. Shout out to the little unboxing knife. Rah, here we go. Okay, got a little tab. Rah. Let's see what you get inside. Okay, so here's your home mini. Just for color comparison. Now, this is the original Google Home. This is the mini. Chalk versus charcoal. On the bottom, let's see. Uh, bottom on this one is orange. We'll go over that in a second. See what else you get. Of course, usual books and shit. Pluck them, follow them to the side. And here's your power cable. Circular on one end, little Google insignia. And this is <laughs> US, uh, micro USB. Now, a lot of people complaining that it's not USB type C, but who cares? Once you, This doesn't have a battery. So once you plug this in, it's gonna stay plugged in. This doesn't have a portable battery, so you can't take it out, uh, take it out the house. So who cares what kind of charge it is? Plug it in, put it behind your table, and let it rock. Now, one thing I wish, they would've had a black cable with the charcoal version, but it is what it is. Shout out to White Shoes. She seen the white cable, she back in the building. And let's see, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's it for inside the box. File it to the side. Now, let's look at this real quick. On one side, here's your mic mute. So you switch that over to mute it. Switch it over to unmute it. There's your uh, USB connection. <laughs> Micro USB connection. Let's see on the bottom. Got a button. I don't know what that is yet. That could be reset. Might be, might not. Chill out, Zerks. On the top, you got this nice cloth material. This kind of looks inconspicuous. If you got this set up somewhere, nobody's gonna know what it is until you start rocking out with it. All right, so let me download the app. We'll plug it in, we'll get everything set up, and then we'll do a little comparison. And I know everybody wants to know which one is better, this or the Echo Dot. So we'll uh, put them to the test. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I got everything all set up, so now let's test it out. Now, the first thing you gotta do is download the Google Home app. Now, once you get that installed, pair it up to your device, real simple. Now, if you wanna raise the volume, tap on one side. If you wanna lower the volume, tap on the other side. Or you can use your voice commands. Hey, Google, volume 10. Now, if you want to mute the mic, hit the switch on the back. The mic's off. If you want to turn it back on. The mic's back on. Hit the switch the other way. So basically, this is just a smaller version of the Google Home. So everything that you could do on your Google Home, you could do it on your Google Home Mini. All right, so let's do a few test questions. Hey, Google, what time is it? 518. Now, you could say hey or okay as your wake-up word. Okay, Google. Spell ridiculous. Ridiculous is spelled R-I-D-I-C-U-L-O-U-S. Basically, this is a win. Now, I know a lot of people gonna ask me, which one do I like better, the Google Home Mini or the Amazon Echo Dot? Personally, I would go with the Echo Dot. It just looks a little bit better. You get more lights. The mute button is easier to reach. And if you got Amazon Prime, and you got all your Amazon music, you're good to go. Not to mention, if you order from Amazon all the time, all your order history is already saved. Now I'll do a little comparison. Now one thing I will mention, the Google Home Mini is definitely a little bit louder, but if you're buying either one of these to play music, don't. All right, both of the speakers on these are pretty trash when it comes to playing music, but they get the job done if you're in the kitchen and you gotta re uh, reheat some Raymond noodles, or maybe you gotta make a quick peanut butter and jelly sandwich, then you can play some music or off on one of these little devices. But if you're doing some spring cleaning or you, you know, you do, you're doing some work and you want some real music, get a better speaker. 
All right, so what I'll do is a little comparison. I got 15 questions. I'll ask them to each device, and we'll see how they perform. My bad, I had to take a phone call. Now, I got them set up side by side, both connected to the same Wi-Fi, so now let's test them out. Hey, Google, volume 10. Computer, volume 10. Now, let's see how low I can talk and activate the systems. Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 5.49. Computer, what time is it? It's 5.49 p.m. Hey, Google, who am I? You told me your name was Cranjus McBasketball. I could never forget that. Cranjus McBasketball in the building. Computer, who am I? I'm not sure who's speaking, but you're in Flossie's account. Hey Google, what can you do? Here are some suggestions. You can say, order French roast coffee, or listen to the latest episode of Invisibilia. Would you like to hear some more? No. Sure, remember, you can always ask, what can you do? You can also see more examples in the Google Home app. Computer, what can you do? You can tell me to turn up the volume, play music, create a to-do list, or look up a topic on Wikipedia. To find out more, check out the Things to Try page in the Alexa app. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. A magician was walking down the street one day, when all of a sudden, he turned into a grocery store. Computer, tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Och. Achoo. Gesundheit. Hey, Google. Scare me. Have you ever heard the urban legend about the assistant that wouldn't help? The story goes that there was this couple, and they were at home. They wanted to see a movie at nine, so they okay, asked Google. their assistant to say... Stop. Computer. Scare me. Computer, stop. Hey Google, when do the Yankees play? The Yankees next game is today at 8.08 p.m. where they will play the Astros. Computer, when do the Yankees play? The Yankees will play tonight at 8.08 p.m. away against the Astros. Hey Google, call me an Uber. It looks like your Uber account is not linked yet. You can link Uber to your Google account from the Google Home app. Computer, call me an Uber. This skill requires you to link your Uber account and your permission to use your location. To enable it, please go to the Skills section of the Alexa app and search for Uber. Hey Google, play me some music. Sure, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Okay, Google, stop. Computer, play me some music. Here's a station you might like, Bernard Herman from Amazon Music. Computer, stop. Not gonna ask them to play some specific songs, but y'all know with the copyright rules, we're gonna pass on that. Hey, Google, play the sound of rain. Here's the sound of rain. Hey Google, stop. Computer, play the sound of rain. It looks like you're really enjoying ambient rain sounds by invoked apps. Want to help keep these sounds free? All it takes is a five star review. Just open the Alexa app on your phone. Go to the skills section. Tap on your skills in the top right of the screen. Select ambient rain sounds by... Now I use this one a lot on Amazon. And then tap right a So it's giving me the runaround. There are a few copycats, so be sure to review the skill by invoked apps. Don't worry, I'll only remind you about this one more time. Thanks. Now back to playing ambient rain Yeah, I sounds. use this one all the time. 
Computer, stop. Hey Google, set a timer for five seconds. All right, five seconds, starting now. Hey Google, stop. Computer, set a timer for five seconds. Five seconds, starting now. Computer, stop. Computer, stop. Hey Google, set a reminder for me to call my PO tomorrow morning. Your reminder call my PO for tomorrow at 8 a.m. is ready. Do you want to save it? Yes. Sure, reminder saved. Computer, remind me to call my PO tomorrow. What time tomorrow should I remind you? 8 a.m. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Hey Google, American Airlines Flight 32. American 32 from Los Angeles to New York City is on time and arrives in 4 hours 32 minutes. Computer, American Airlines Flight 32. American Airlines Flight 32 from Los Angeles is on time. It's scheduled to land at New York JFK at 10.27 p.m. at Terminal 8. So as you can see, both of these are pretty good. Now I got one last question, and this will separate the big boys from the toys. Computer, what is a thought? Idea, concept formed and existing in the mind. See, it, so, it thought I said thought, but I'm saying thought. Computer, what is a thought? Idea, concept formed and existing in the mind. Now check this out. Hey Google, what is a thought? On the website bustle.com, they say, according to Urban Dictionary's top definition, a thought is a hoe, with the plural being thoughties. Other definitions, however, reveal a little more about how the word itself came to be. Thought is actually an acronym that can either stand for that hoe over there or thirsty hoe over there. Google is such a savage. Anyway, the Google Home Mini on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a major go. If you got the Google Home, you're going to do the same thing, but in a smaller package and a smaller price. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters. All y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock, one to beam up. Captain. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>